Watch you guys got another video here for you. This one's on how to modify or extract or edit WIM files. Now you may be asking what are WIM files? WIM files uh, are used by lots of media, i.e. Windows 7 CDs use uh, WIM files, install.wim and stuff like that. Uh, PE disks, live PE disks will use uh, WIM files and also lots of backup software use them like HP and stuff use WIM files as well. Um, I've got a WIM file in front of me here. This is from um, a live PE disk and to open it you can use a 7-zip and you can see the files there and this is what's inside them and you can even pull stuff out on some of them like this so I can pull that file out if I wanted to but when you go to put them back in it won't allow you to do that if you go to try and add stuff to it it won't allow you okay so it does allow you to look at them um, but not actually um, put stuff back in modify it okay and we're going to use a free program called gimagex to do that it's a very small download as you can see 590 kb and a normal method is to use um, windows automated installation kit but that's a pretty hefty download so we're going to be using gimagex and uh, as i said it's only a small little download you just click on this and we'll go through the motions in a moment now i did say the uh, windows automated installation kit you can use that but it's 1.7 gigabytes in size and this is the normal method and I like to use this method all the time because I've got this normally installed on my machine but I wanted to show you this G image X uh, script here so let's get started anyway now I did say to you that Windows does have these types of uh, files and I'm going to show you quickly because I wanted to show you where they are inside the Windows CD I've got the Windows CD inside my uh, DVD draw there and I'm going to open this up and this will show me what's inside the actual DVD there and if I go to sources and uh, when I pull this down you're looking for install and you can see a WIM file uh, install.wim and that's the actual file now all these files inside here will be installed when Windows is installing uh, on your system so if you edit this file you can actually edit this file to install all your programs so let's uh, have a go at editing our file so first off I've got my G image X on my desktop here I'm going to open this up with 7-zip and I'm going to pull this folder out onto the desktop now there's two different versions as I said there's a 64-bit version and a 32-bit I'm on a 64-bit Windows 7 machine here so I'm going to be using that version I'm just going to quickly copy this and I'm going to put this into my C root directory okay now you can put yours wherever you like but I'm going to put mine inside here and paste it and there it lives there okay now what we need to do next is actually create a folder and this is going to be to mount our um, WIM file in so I'm going to call this mount like so and what it's going to do is when we put our WIM file in there, which I'm going to do now, just going to pull that down there. And I'm going to be uh, extracting, say, a file out of here as well. So this is my live CD. Again, go into my sources here and you'll see a boot.wim file. Okay. And all you need to do is extract that to wherever you like. You can use the extract method if you like. I've got one on my desktop here and I'm going to use this one. So I'm just going to copy this to my C root directory. And I'm going to place that in there as well and now we have our WIM file our gimagex.exe and also we've got our mount folder which is empty so what we need to do now is fire up the first thing you want to do first is on your WIM files is check the properties on it to make sure that it's not read only if it is then you aren't going to be able to edit it okay so you need to make sure that it's not um, read only okay so I've taken that out and uh, we can put that back afterwards if we wanted to and what I'm going to do now is fire up gimagex and there's some useful stuff in here what I'm going to do is come onto the mount tab here once I get to the mount tab we want to get the mount point so the mount point will be in our C root directory again and what I'm going to do is um, find the files that we want which will be this mount folder okay so inside that mount folder that's where all our files going to be and remember that was empty and now the source is going to be our WIM file so what I'm going to do here is come down again to our C root directory 
and find our WIM file and I'm going to click open there and there's our files okay so we've got our source and we've got our mount point now we want to read and write I want to make sure we read and write this file so we can actually edit it and uh, once we've done that we can click on mount and this will open up the WIM file and mount it okay and it's saying image mounted successfully so I can close that off now don't close this window off leave this open and uh, what we want to do here now is go into our mount folder and you'll see all the files have now been mounted into this uh, actual folder so now we could actually make changes to our our system if we wanted to and add programs and stuff like that or maybe add some portable apps in there which is another good little method to add portable apps you can add a portable apps folder so it means when we boot up our live CD we'll have all our portable apps and as you can see here we have all our programs small little programs this is on a live CD remember pretty straightforward now and all all you would have to do is copy and paste that stuff in okay so let's uh, see if I wanted to add some files here I've got some files inside here I've got network tools and as you can see there's loads of network tools here let's say for instance I wanted to add this I could copy this in into my um, actual mounted PE disk here I'm going to actually continue this one and put it in there and that's that done now so what I'm going to do next is come back and then we're going to go back to our program itself now which is here which I put down into the taskbar there I didn't close it and what I'm going to do here is commit changes and unmount it so commit changes click on that there and then unmount it and that's I'm now unmounting and it will make this save the changes that I've done and it's done it successfully so we can now close this off and if I went back into that mounted folder now you would see that the actual files have now uh, disappeared if I can find it there we go and it's empty so all the files that we've saved have gone back into this WIM file okay so what I'm going to do here now is add my WIM file into my PE disk and this is the one here on my desktop my ISO image so what I need to do is I'm going to use uh, ultra ISO you can use magic ISO or whatever you like here but I'm going to be using that so I'm going to open this up and it's on my desktop so I'm just going to come down and find my live CD open that and there you can see the WIM file there now all I need to do here now is come down to the bottom pane click on my C root directory and find my WIM file which is the one that I've changed you can see the difference in size is because I've made changes to it and what I'm going to do is uh, basically delete this and just drag that straight up like so and then we're gonna come to file and save and that will rebuild that ISO image with the changes that I've made and it will still be bootable okay and as you can see they're bootable so what I want to do here now is I'm going to grab my file which is the one it's just saved it also makes a backup file you can delete that if you wish so that's pretty much how you would uh, edit or modify or extract files from a WIM file so I hope it's been useful for you my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys please remember hit that subscribe button and show your support also rate and favorite my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching guys. Have a nice weekend. Bye for now.